Okay, home stretch. This is bag N. It's gonna be a radio tray, odd guards, ancient antenna. Looks like this is all the same as it used to be. Same thing. Manual says Loctite for these, I think. Oh, it doesn't. Okay, good. No. You don't need Loctite for these. I'm really just going to speed through this next part. We're just uh, installing the radio gear. Pretty straightforward. Techno does have a great way of rooting the wiring for your radio system back from the battery tray underneath the switch area and into the receiver box area. Uh, makes for a neat and tidy installation. As mentioned in part one of the build series, we are using the Protec 170 SBL servos. I find they make a great servo for the buggy. The one thing Techno doesn't do is really give you a spot to mount the LiPo switch. If you're running a LiPo receiver pack. So this works just fine. CA glue. For the receiver battery, I do like to use the Protec LiPo 2600 milliamp hour hump pack, specifically designed for the battery box of the Techno cars. When mounting it, you can see in the video, I do use a couple small pieces of foam just to keep it from bouncing around um, and save the life of the pack. Radio gear installed. What's next? Engine install. Okay, well. All we really need out of this 
this bag is the So as I'm fooling around with these bags, I'm thinking to myself, uh, should I build the clutch or not? I do have a full built, recently rebuilt clutch that I had to start this build, but then decided I would go ahead and just build the clutch on camera just to make it part of the video. Again, I'll quickly speed through this, just doing standard brake clean on the screws just so I can get them prepped for thread lock. As mentioned, I will be using last season's engine. Uh, literally has three days of practice and uh, obviously some some upsets uh, and uh, and just uh, I think one race, one actual race weekend. Does help to have a ball driver here. Again, very little Loctite, just for peace of mind. Okay. Um, also, if this is 
your first time building one of these and you don't have a bump box ready, um, best time to do your bump box setup is just before you put the motor in. Okay, so we're going to set the mesh. And what I like to do is just tighten like the middle one and the one up by the screw up by the actual pinion. That's gonna really lock it down in place. You can move it though. So right now there's zero play. We can go uh, to the other side. Whatever, just to give us a couple little taps, it will move over. That's really all. Play you want so I will go ahead tighten this Another way people will do this, this is my break in for my engine, is they'll actually take a piece of paper and feed the piece of paper through there. And it should go through easily, but there should be very little play. And that's how you'd set your spur and pinion mesh. And what I will do is I'll go ahead Turn this over and actually crank these down now. We're going to go back here. We're going to check. Back with another piece of paper just to see that nothing's changed once the engine is down in place. So, paper goes through, doesn't rip in any way, and you've got just that nice amount of play. And also just move it around, check it everywhere. And uh, same thing you should have when you're setting, uh, I can't really show you the clutch, but when the clutch is set up, you should have about 0.2 mil play back and forth, uh, front to back on the clutch belt. Okay. We'll go ahead and just build this second clutch. Well, I can't really do that without another engine. So I already have my spares already have. Uh, my spare engines already have a clutch on them go ahead and put the shoes in place. This is pretty straightforward. Okay, so spring goes in, 
fue. spot so I don't know if you saw that but it popped through and then give that a little tap not a tap push and then a couple wiggles and this will usually fall into place. to align the back up because that pin the spring is pushing the clutch shoe out I'm just trying to align that hole and then once it's in the back hole tighten it down no loctite needed here and you really don't even need to tighten those more than just till they snug up that's it uh, you don't want them too tight otherwise the clutch shoe won't return clutch shoe needs to return back to center or back to closed position the free wheel if it doesn't you have an issue okay and this one is going to be um, green and gold springs opposite I'll build in a clockwise manner Green springs aren't as stiff as the gold springs. Usually pop in a little easier. Again, I'll use just a driver to go ahead and compress. clutches I think they're great haven't had any issues I know a lot of people replace them with a, a reds or a protec um, but I think the product is totally fine I've had no issues but again personal preference okay, pop that one in so now we're gonna go back again just to apply a little bit of pressure. If you can see how that's lining up, and it just pops right in. Good thing also to do while you're assembling your clutch. Just 
get your caliper, measure out what your new clutch is. So 24.6, it's kind of, um, 24.6 at the end of the shoes, 24.5. Um, you should be replacing the clutch shoes uh, around when they're down around, when this measurement is down around 23 mils. Um, uh, that's when you should be replacing these clutch shoes. Um, that's pretty much it for the clutch. The only Last thing I'd like to say about the Techno Clutches is they uh, do require, sometimes they do require additional shims, well on the block, on the block engine they do. Um, oops. That's it for that bag. Uh, oh, I have air filter to make. After that's a spare, that's been cleaned. Okay. Now, watched Adam Drake do this the other day, and uh, he had a really good tip which was uh, applying CA uh, to the air filter attachment point. Uh, I think that's a really good idea. This is quite well built uh, in that it actually doesn't even want to come off before you put the uh, tie wrap on, but this part to fall off while we are running. So I'm just going to go with a little bit of thin CA. That's more than enough. filters.
Okay, air filter assembly is completed. Put that aside for now. 